Exit Mountains. Hello guys, Mukas here. Today I wanted to showcase this great moment with NCIV, my outfit. With only half a squad, we made a huge difference and we could even capture a facility at the end. So I am the most effective with my squad when I know all the members in it. I also know what they are capable of, more or less. Here, most of my squad mates were veterans with a microphone, so we were constantly communicating. That's why we could wreck so much stuff. The most important in squad play is to stay together, of course, so we can focus far, one target at a time. We fight and die together. That's why I like the Battle Sandy so much, because it's very versatile. It's a spawn point and a combat vehicle. And here I was using my semi-close range loadout. One Basilisk, one Fury and the rest as usual. Blockade armor, racer chassis, fire suppression and the Liberty horn of course. Okay, and in the east. I like to keep one Basilisk for the versatility against all targets. At most ranges you'll have to engage. For the Fury it's very powerful at close range against infantry and vehicles. Especially infantry. But the downside is that it's very effective at range and the gunners run out of ammo very fast. That's why we'll have to take an ammo sandy later. Let's kill the sandy first, guys. Oh yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So here we just kicked the Vanu out of Hatcher Station, but there was still a pocket of resistance in the mountains, <laughs> so we went to check this out. Oh, Mr. is getting stuck. I'm, I'm Driving on these rocks was very tricky. I almost got stuck twice. It would have been lame, but I made it. And we did very well. Who can they play on this rock, lol? Stay here, gunners. So with the sandy, you should always have two gunners when engaging. This seems like common sense, but I still see ton of sanders moving around without gunners. And the gunners also need to be engineers to be able to repair. And you'll have to repair the sandy very often because it's a very big target. Yeah, let's move. So I also like to have one or two pocket engineers ready to repair so the sandy can last against uh, sustained fire. And finally, one or two heavy assaults on the ground fighting is very useful. Get out of the way! They can help against vehicles and infantry. With the bus, guys. They can really make a difference if you position them well. No, I'm stuck! So of course you can run the battle sandy just with gunners without all this support. But you'll have to disengage very often to get to cover and repair. And this will give time to the enemy to heal and recover. So this is not very effective to push the front line. Guys, need help on my sandy. If you want to stand, you need support for the sandy. Uh, gunners kill! Kill stuff! I'm repairing like crazy. And the pocket engine guys. One more pocket engine. And if you can out repair the damage you take, your gunners can keep firing on the enemies and you'll give them a real chance to do some damage. Because most of the thunder guns are doing damage over time. One clip of the fury is not much, but the second one and the third one can be crucial. One magic to kill guys. One gunner missing. Uh, I'm so to optimize your squad you'll have to use force multipliers. Here you'll see us use a lot of them, that's why I found this clip interesting. The battle bus, the max later, we also use 80 mines. Get wrecked! Okay guys, we're going to Akan Data Hub. Dark base do it, do a bring number send Alright. Good positioning and movement is also a force multiplier. Knowing when to fall back and when to charge. So I try to use anything that could make us more effective with less players. Okay, thanks, front. This is more rewarding that way. For example, if I drop a heavy assault right behind the tank and he shoots him in the rear, this can do a lot of damage. And combine this with the gunners firing and the max, you can tear down through vehicles. White. Watch out, you're gonna pull Max. I'm the prank. Maybe Max and get in. Let's move. We'll drop you next to the tanks. On my way. I love this, just seeing them blow up on my command all around. This is only in play side 2. Let's go crazy! One step smoking. Don't bail! Oh, he bailed. Just a kill! Butt shot on the Maggie! Butt shot, guys! Butt shot on the Maggie! Nice! The Malachny, guys! Another butt shot on the Lightning! 
The Razor, don't let him escape! No. Where is that place? I'm the Razor, guys, is to kill. Okay, good, we're doing good. I'm gonna resupply. I also like to drive Thunders because it gives me time to lead the squad. I'm not shooting or anything, I'm just driving so I can coordinate my squad better. Dark Blaze, get here! I keep updating my orders so we are the most uh, effective possible. There is ammo with this. We go from one objective to the other very quickly. Okay, let's advance, follow me, Dark Blaze. Yep. Coming to secure, go for him. So that's what I enjoyed the most in squad play. And I hope this will motivate you to lead small squads. <laughs> Two lightnings. Get her chapter. So that's it guys, I let you enjoy the gameplay and the squad chat. We had a ton of fun capturing the base and at the end we were even comparing our scores to see who did the best <laughs> just to kill one this time. So GG man, that was great. Of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a big ass thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. This stuff is down. Guys, I'm gonna get in the base with the Sandy and it's full ammo. Dark Blaze, you're gonna deploy outside of the base, I'm gonna try to deploy inside of the base. Yep. So I'm gonna get and if you haven't already, you should subscribe because it's free, guys. And that's it. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. It's gonna be our base. Get out of the way! There's a Sandy deployed behind the tower inside. See you on the ground now. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna deploy here, I need to hold. Save the Sandy, guys. Let's deploy it. Let's secure this position, guys. It reminds the vehicle spawn. Let me just stay. Secure this. Looks fine. Entrator, change to anti infantry. Dark blaze, you go with the entrator. Wait, I'm gonna deploy again. Deployed. Ah, poor Maggie. Maggie got wrecked. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> Double kill on the Maggie. Okay guys, don't push to a point now. Regroup. Almost shot at hard weight. Okay guys, <laughs> we're gonna move to a point soon. So the gunner has a chance to medic. So Malios, you go medic too. And let's get on a point to the max guys. The max first. Ah, we have A. Just hold, the hold. The waypoint is fine. We have to camp there. Uh, camp there. Okay, guys, you know, the, the waypoint way. building is fine. Uh, the, uh, the building I am at, I mean. Yes. Go with just a kill and farm them. I'm gonna plant a beacon on A. So guys, after that, we're gonna leave this base and I'm go to the TR front. I'm number one on the leader okay. board. Hacks. Bobby, this is hacks. Bobby. Number one on the random leaderboard. <laughs> what? I'm the last. Guys, you need to do something. Need to do something. More farming. Max destroyed. Yeah, now I'm number twelve. Better position and I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Just a kill. How did you get fourteen kills? Uh, <laughs> farming. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is by farming. Very NCO useful tip. So guys, start with the pranger. Let's leave this place. <laughs> We're going to try to get to DMR to farm plant. Last. Get wrecked, everyone. NCIV for the win. Who dares to be in the sport room? What the fuck is somebody killing me with a tank mine? What? Yeah, somebody's spam tank mines on Stevie's, I think.